In this video, you'll learn how to create subscriber preferences for your readers in Beehive. Subscriber preferences allow your readers to choose and update what types of emails they want to receive. For example, if you host events, you can have readers opt in to receive emails specifically about upcoming events. If you have multiple newsletters, readers can easily browse and select which ones they want to receive. Or if you send a daily newsletter, you can allow users to choose how frequently they want to receive emails. Those are just some examples of preferences you might want to create. Let's get straight into it. First, log into your Beehive account and go to Audience and Subscribers. Then choose Preferences from the navigation bar. Now click on New Preference. From here, you can create a new preference, which can include frequency of emails, types of emails, or anything else you'd like. First, start with the name of the preference. Please note that the name and description of your preference will be visible to users when they visit their Preference Center page. Next, choose the type of preference. This will simply change how your preference options are displayed. For example, multiple choice will allow users to choose one or more options from a preference. Short response will allow users to enter their preference in a text box. Drop down menu will allow users to choose an option from a drop down menu. And true slash false will allow users to toggle on or off a preference. Depending on the type of preference you're creating, you'll choose a different type. In this case, I'll be creating two different preferences to show you how they differ. First, I'll create a preference called how often do you want to receive this newsletter? And because there's going to be two possible options, which is daily and weekly, I would choose multiple choice or drop down menu. In this case, I'll select a multiple choice. Because I only want one answer, I'll leave allow multiple responses unchecked. Now I'll click add option and add two different options. Lastly, you want to create or use an existing custom field to store this data. In this example, I'll create a new custom field by clicking on new custom field. Now I'll enter a name for the custom field. Because I'm collecting information about the frequency of emails being sent, I'll call this custom field frequency. Now confirm the custom field type looks correct and then click save. Lastly, you want to make sure preference center settings is toggled on. This just means this preference option will be shown in a subscriber's preference center page. Users can access this page by clicking on the link at the bottom of their emails or by logging in via your publication website and then clicking on manage subscription, then preferences. Now I'll quickly create another preference, but this time with a true slash false preference type. So now we have two different preferences. And now when a subscriber sets their preference on the subscriber management page, the options they selected will appear under the corresponding custom field in their subscriber page. Now that we're done creating our preferences, we can now do a few things. One thing you can do with the information you've collected is create segments based on preferences subscribers have chosen. For example, if you're sending out an email about an event you're hosting, you would only want to send it out to subscribers who have opted into those emails through the preference you've created. To make sure you're sending it only to this group of subscribers, you can click on the three dots next to the preference and then click on create segment. Now you can choose to create a segment based off what preference option a subscriber chose. In this example, I'll choose true. So people who have opted into receiving these types of emails. After you click on confirm, you'll now be redirected to the segment. If you click on overview, you'll now see everyone who is in the segment. Now when you're sending out an email, you can include the segment in the audience you're sending to just make sure to remove all free and paid subscribers. Lastly, in the preferences tab, you can click on configure preference center to configure the order in which preferences are shown on the subscriber management page. Simply drag the preferences to the top or bottom, depending on where you want them to show. That's it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, you might like the other tutorials on our YouTube channel.